Ever wondered how Christmas Day came to be? A question that might have crossed your mind as you hang those stockings or decorate the tree. What are the origins of this globally celebrated day? Well, you're about to uncover the fascinating journey of Christmas Day. The story of Christmas Day starts with the early Christian era. In the earliest days of Christianity there was no such thing as Christmas. The focus of the early Christians was not on the birth of Jesus but rather on his death, resurrection and ascension. It was the Easter event that held all the significance. The birth of Jesus, while acknowledged, did not carry the same weight or importance. The early Christian community was more interested in living out the teachings of Jesus in their daily lives, and less so in commemorating his birth. The concept of celebrating birthdays was also not a common practice during this time, further contributing to the lack of a formal celebration for Jesus' birth. But as Christianity began to spread across the Roman Empire, things began to change. The 3rd century saw a growing interest in the life of Jesus, and with it a desire to commemorate his birth. However, the exact date of his birth was unknown. Various dates were suggested, from January through to May, but none gained unanimous acceptance. Then, in the 4th century, the church made a decisive move. December 25th was chosen as the day to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Why this date, you may ask? There are a few theories. Some suggest it was chosen to coincide with the winter solstice, a time of year when many pagan festivals were held, thereby making it easier to replace these pagan festivities with a Christian celebration. Others theorize it was to align with the Roman festival of Saturnalia, a week-long period of lawlessness celebrated between December 17, 25. During this period Roman courts were closed and Roman law dictated that no one could be punished for damaging property or injuring people. Regardless of the reason, December 25th was declared as the official date of Jesus' birth by the Roman bishop Liberius, in the year 354. This declaration helped solidify the celebration of Christmas, and the day began to gain significant recognition across the Christian world. And thus, December 25th became a significant date, marking the birth of Jesus Christ. Scene script. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, Christmas took a different turn. As Europe entered the Middle Ages, the celebration of Christmas started to reflect the social and cultural changes of the time. It was during this era that some of the traditions we associate with Christmas today began to take shape. The Middle Ages saw the introduction of caroling, a tradition that has its roots in the medieval practice of wassailing. Wassailing was a form of merrymaking that involved going from house to house, singing and spreading holiday cheer, often in exchange for food and drink. This custom gradually evolved into the caroling we know today, where groups of people roam neighborhoods, filling the air with festive songs. The Yule Log is another tradition that has its origins in the Middle Ages. The term Yule comes from the Old Norse word for feast, and the Yule Log was a crucial part of winter solstice celebrations in many ancient cultures. As Christianity spread, the Yule Log was incorporated into Christmas traditions. The log, often a large and hefty piece of wood, was brought into the home with great ceremony. It was then set ablaze, and the family would gather around the fire sharing stories and enjoying each other's company. But it wasn't all merry and bright. The Middle Ages were also a time of superstition and fear, and these elements found their way into the Christmas celebrations too. It was believed that Christmas Eve was a time when the barrier between the human world and the supernatural was at its thinnest. To ward off any evil spirits, people would light candles and place them in their windows, a custom that has since evolved into the tradition of decorating our homes with twinkling Christmas lights. From caroling to the Yule log, and even the glow of Christmas lights, the Middle Ages played a significant role in shaping how we celebrate Christmas. As we partake in these traditions we're not just celebrating the holiday, but also connecting with a rich and diverse history. These traditions from the Middle Ages still echo in our Christmas celebrations today. Moving into the modern era, Christmas began to evolve into a more familiar celebration. As we journeyed through time the Christmas we know today started taking shape. The 19th century marked a period of significant change. A pivotal moment arrived with the popularization of the Christmas tree. Originating in Germany, the tradition of decorating evergreen trees became a symbol of life and hope during the harsh winter months. The trees were adorned with candles, symbolizing Christ being the light of the world. This tradition spread across Europe and eventually reached American shores, creating a new centerpiece for the holiday season. Around the same time, a jolly figure known as Santa Claus emerged. 
Inspired by Saint Nicholas, a 4th century Greek bishop known for his generosity, Santa Claus became the embodiment of holiday cheer. Stories and songs about Santa traveling the globe on Christmas Eve, delivering presents to well-behaved children, soon became a staple of Christmas lore. In this era, the holiday also began to focus more intensely on family and gift-giving. The Industrial Revolution brought about an increase in mass-produced goods, making gifts more accessible to the general public. Christmas morphed into an occasion for expressing love and appreciation through the exchange of presents. This tradition of gift-giving harkens back to the three wise men presenting gifts to the baby Jesus, thus adding a layer of religious significance to the act. Moreover, the advent of Christmas cards in the mid-19th century allowed people to send holiday greetings to friends and family far and wide. This helped to further cement the holiday as a time for connecting with loved ones, even if they were miles apart. Through these transformations, Christmas became more than just a religious observance. It evolved into a universal celebration of love, generosity, and togetherness. The traditions born in this era have endured, shaping our modern Christmas into a holiday filled with warmth, joy, and a touch of magic. The modern era shaped Christmas into the holiday we recognize and cherish today. It's not just about how Christmas evolved over time, but also how it is celebrated differently around the world. Let's embark on a virtual journey around the globe, discovering the diverse and intriguing ways in which this cherished holiday is celebrated. Our first stop is the Philippines, known for having one of the longest holiday seasons in the world. Here, Christmas starts as early as September and lasts until January. A highlight is the Simbang Gabi or Night Mass, a series of nine dawn masses culminating on Christmas Eve, a testament to the country's deep-rooted Catholic faith. Next, we travel to Ethiopia, where Christmas, known as Ghana, is celebrated on January 7th in accordance with the ancient Julian calendar. The day begins with a fast, broken only after the first church service, and is followed by feasting and games. Our journey takes us next to Australia, where Christmas falls in the middle of summer. Christmas Day is often celebrated outdoors with barbecues, beach games, and even surfing Santas. Heading north, we find ourselves in Iceland, where the holiday season is marked by the Yule Lads, 13 mischievous Santas who visit children in the 13 days leading up to Christmas. Each Yule Lad has a different personality, from the spoon licker to the door slammer. In Mexico, the festive season is marked by Las Posadas, a nine-day celebration involving processions, parties, and breaking piñatas. It's a reenactment of Mary and Joseph's search for a place to stay in Bethlehem. And finally in Sweden, the start of the holiday season is marked by St. Lucia's Day on December 13th. A girl chosen to play Lucia leads a procession while wearing a crown of candles, symbolizing light in the winter darkness. These are just a few examples of the myriad ways Christmas is celebrated. Yet, no matter the traditions, the universal themes of love, peace and goodwill always shine through. From Australia to Iceland, Christmas unites us in a global celebration of joy and warmth. So, the journey of Christmas Day has been a captivating one, hasn't it? A tale that began in the early Christian era, where the birth of Christ was celebrated in humble gatherings, filled with reverence and devotion. It was a simple commemoration, a far cry from the grandeur we associate Christmas with today. Yet even then the essence of Christmas was the same, it was a day dedicated to love, to kindness, to the celebration of life and the blessings it brings. The seed of this beautiful tradition was planted in these early days, and it's a seed that has grown and blossomed over the centuries. As we moved into the Middle Ages, Christmas began to take on a more recognizable form. The traditions we know and love today like the Christmas tree caroling and the exchange of gifts, started to take shape. It was a time of change a time when Christmas began to spread its wings, and then came the modern era, where Christmas transformed into a global phenomenon, a day celebrated not just by Christians but by people of all faiths and backgrounds. It became a symbol of unity, a day when differences were set aside in favor of shared happiness and goodwill. Today, Christmas is celebrated in every corner of the world, each place adding its unique touch to the festivities. From the vibrant parades in the streets of Brazil, to the beautiful lantern festivals in the Philippines, Christmas has truly become a global festival. And that, my friends, is the enthralling saga of Christmas Day, a celebration that transcends borders and unites the world in a festival of love and joy.